Welcome back to the Wicked Kitchen. Today we are gonna make a super simple side dish. Roasted cauliflower, different colored cauliflowers we have here with some pine nuts, lemon, and a little bit of Parmesan. So first I wanna show you how to break down some cauliflower. Really simple technique and just keeping it clean. So first you wanna unwrap it if it's coming wrapped, um, you know, or just trim it, trim it up a little bit. Uh, and what I do, make sure you wash the heads first. And then I'm gonna cut at the very bottom here and the bottom just pops off, okay? So you're gonna discard this. And then I actually keep some of the leaves on there, like the smaller leaves. So I'm gonna break these down. So here's a beautiful golden cauliflower. We got a purple cauliflower. I'm just popping out the bottom there. And there's really, you know, a lot of people are looking for tricks and tips. And in terms of not making a mess with cauliflower, it's almost impossible. So there is once we start breaking it down into florets. So I'm just taking these larger leaves off, throwing it all over the place. I'm gonna start off, let's do a little bit of purple. We're gonna just do it a little bit of a mix here. So I'm gonna go to the bottom, I'm gonna cut it in half. What I like to do is I like to break it naturally so you get as many full florets rather than cutting it straight through. I like seeing the full florets all around. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these. Some of them you can go in half, okay? Gonna break this down. The larger ones I'm just gonna cut in half here. They're just so vibrant. Really beautiful. And I like to keep the stems also. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the stems. Put them in nice spears here. All right, set that back. Do the same thing for the golden. So we're gonna roast these. We're gonna roast these up and nothing beats a perfectly roasted cauliflower or cruciferous. Similar to, you can do the same thing with, you know, broccoli, broccolini, broccoli rabe. Quite nice, so I'm just gonna add a couple of these florets. And really the key to roasting is temperature. Temperature and also how much you're going on the sheet pan. So many people have a tendency of just adding them to a sheet pan and you know, really crowding them so they don't get the full heat that you're looking for with all of them. So you're creating a little bit more of a, a sweating and steaming rather than a roasting and, you know, sort of caramelization. Super simple, olive oil, make sure that they're coated. Okay, olive oil, some coarse salt. And some black pepper. You can add some thyme in there. Now, if I was gonna use any other delicate herbs, such as basil, parsley, you know, cilantro, mint, to finish this, I would add it at the end, but something like thyme or rosemary, I like to add with the cooking process to really release those essential oils in the herbs. Brings out a lot more flavor. Just gonna toss that, make sure that they're coated well. If they're not coated well, make sure you add a little bit more. All right, so rule of thumb, as I was mentioning for baking, for roasting, is if I'm gonna go ahead, let's use sweet potatoes, for example. If I'm gonna use sweet, make sweet potatoes, I'm gonna dice them up real small, and I'm also gonna have some larger pieces of sweet potatoes that are smaller, I'm gonna put it on a higher heat, okay? Because you're gonna get that crispiness, all right? Whereas the ones that are uh, a little bit larger cut, I'm gonna put it on a lower heat, because that way you cook the insides first and they get the crispiness on the outside. So many people kind of fumble with temperature and so you'll have something, you'll have potatoes that are either mushy or they're crispy on the outside and still firm on the inside. So uh, with cauliflower and broccoli, what I like to do is, I like to go at a high heat and that way it's gonna crisp, it's gonna give a little bit of sort of black little bits around. So that's good to go. We're gonna let those roast for about anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. You're gonna check them a little bit, probably about 10 minutes in, check them, make sure that they're 
uh, getting some nice color and then we'll pull them out and serve them from there. All right, welcome back. So we have been cooking this cauliflower. It's been roasting for about 12 minutes or so. Let's check it out. Good. You can see you get all those little crispy bits on the edges. That's exactly what you want. You don't want to cook it too much, but when you flip it, see when you flip, this one you know it's done. When you flip it and you see some nice darkness, some nice caramelization on the bottom, that's when they're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of parsley in there for some freshness. Mint works really, really well also. Gonna use a little bit of parsley. This will be for a finished garnish. I will serve it up and we'll add some finishing touches here. This does not last too long in my home. We all love roasted cauliflower, roasted broccoli, it's so nice. All right, so I have some pine nuts that I've toasted to a golden brown, just a dry toast in a pan on medium high. I'm just gonna add some pine nuts to that. Any toasted seeds work really well. Let's finish it with some parsley and some lemon zest. All right, and there you have a simple roasted cauliflower with pine nuts, some parsley, a little bit of lemon. It's one of my favorite ways to roast cauliflower. Super simple, great side dish. If you're watching from the UK, be sure to jump in Tesco and check out our Wicked Kitchen line. Thanks for watching. Again, subscribe to our YouTube if you're not already. See you next time. And again, subscribe to our channel when you have time and blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on, dude. I hate these last frames. <laughs> dude, stop recording. Beep, beep. Okay. <laughs> every, every single.